So let's have a look at uh, part 3D in our, in our student's book. It's on page uh, 34. We have just uh, looked at the pictures here in the first exercise where we want to discuss uh, how people will change in the future. Have you found any interesting uh, information about how people will change in the future? Maybe, Philip, can you try? What have you found? Um, what are some predictions how people might change in the future? Uh, bigger brains? Yes. Bigger right. eyes? Uh, because they will need uh, more angle to see? Uh huh. Yeah. Or more light to come to their eyes? Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Thank you. Now, in the text, uh, we read some interesting predictions about how people will change in the future. So there are these interesting predictions. Let's see how people will change. At first, we have this one here. Um, maybe, Rosalie, can you please read the first part, this one? Um, this? Yes, okay. Uh, humans will be living in other parts of the solar system. As a result, our eyelids will have become thicker to protect our eyes from radiation. Yes, correct. Okay, but look, uh, we don't say eye eyelids, we say, we say eyelids. Eyelids. Okay. Can you translate for me, Rosalie, eyelids? Já bych řekla, že to je jako víčko. Víčko, výborně. So, we'll have become thicker to protect our eyes. Now, over here, we have the first examples of these uh, future tenses that we have just discussed. Uh, future, continuous, budoucí průběhový, a future, perfect, před budoucí čas. Now, both of them are here. One is here, will be living, and the other is right here, will have become. Okay, so my first question is, which one is the continuous? Který z nich je ten průběhový budoucí? Does anybody know? Will be living. Will be living, good. Now, let's go to this part where I want to discuss uh, the, this part. So we have future continuous. Now, at first, let's have a look at the form. So the form here is the first part consists of will be, right? It's always the same. So fortunately, that's easy. And then we use, what do we use here, uh, Lukáš? What's the form of this, uh, uh, the, the main verb? What is the form? Uh, will be. Yes, will be and I uh, am. Uh, will be living. Will be living, that's it. So basically the form will be, let me write it here. We have will plus, or will be, let's say plus, ing every single time now uh, how do we create the negative does anybody know where do i put not won't, won't be won't be living excellent for example now yeah? or let me just put it like this uh, won't be plus or will not you can choose both and how do i create a question so, for example, Milan, can you create a question from this? For example, I'll be living. So, how can you create a question from this? Hmm? Jako budeš žít někde? Milan, can you try? Yes. Uh... Will you... Living. How will you be living? And then I would say yes, I will. Right? That would be the answer. So that's the question. Now we understand the form. However, we still need to discuss the meaning here. And let me show you on the timeline. Can anybody explain it before I show you? Does anybody know how this works? Why did I not say I will live and instead I used I will be living? Does anybody know? So let me show you here. Uh, we are talking about this time, right? That's right here. Let me change the color. This is about 100,000 years in the future. This is the time that we are talking about. So we have the, the exact time for the future. All right? Like a year 102,021, basically. So we are describing 
uh, the things that will happen at that time. And uh, there are two ways to do it. We are just talking about the first part. So if I talk about the year uh, here, uh, one hundred, let's say 100,000 to make it easy, yeah? year 100,000. But we are still here, right? That's the thing. That's the thing, we are still here. And now if I only use uh, I will, so people will live, or oh, I have to write it normally, sorry. People will live. If I just use it like this, then it has a quite a different meaning. That simply means lidé budou žít. So it will be a, a fact. Bude to jednoduše jako nějaká realita, nějaká skutečnost. Nicméně, když řeknu people will be living, okay, but let me change the color. I will make it blue. Ah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I should use maybe a better tool. Let's try this one. People will be living. So at first, the, our problem is that we are uh, here at this uh, at this spot right here. That's where we are. Okay, this is now. And I'm talking about the things that uh, will be happening or that will happen. So if I use will happen, it's a one-time action. Jednorázová akce. Stejně jako když máme přítomný prostý a přítomný průběhový. Nebo když máme uh, minulý prostý a minulý průběhový. Zatímco když použiju ten budoucí průběhový, tak se jedná o nějakou skutečnost, která se děje nějakou dobu. To znamená, tady v tom bodě těch uh, 100,000 years, that means that people will be in the process of living. To znamená, lidé budou žít, budou v tom procesu žití na Marsu. To znamená, že v tu chvíli, v tu danou chvíli budou něco dělat. Nech, nechci říct, že tam budou žít, že to jednoduše bude, uh, že to budou fakta, že tam ti lidé budou žít, ale chci říct, že budou lidé v procesu žití na Marsu, že v tu danou chvíli tam budou. OK? You see, that's the difference uh, between future for will and future continuous. Uh, are there any questions? This one is still easy, I think. This one is easy. Are there any questions? No. Okay, wonderful. Then let's try this one. We have future perfect. This is where the problem starts, I think. Future perfect simple. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at the text first. In the text, we have another part. Yeah. We have it right here. Will have become will have become okay now my first question is what is the form how do i create the form in general easy can you try jak vytvořím tu formu už to není will be plus ingoa forma co will have will have a tady tenhle ten tvar to už není minulý čas nepřímo minulý čas by byl druhý tvar ale je to druhý tvar nebo ne no třetí so we have, good job, uh, easy, thank you. So we have, will, have, it's always the same. And then past participle, or let me write it in full, past participle, third form, třetí forma, okay? Now, how do I create negative? Rosalie, can you try, please? Negative, how do I want Won't have? Yes. Won't have become for example or will not you can use will not and then past participle third form excellent and then how is the question uh for example milan oh i asked you last time sorry uh for a question so let's try uh, so martin can you try the question for this if i say people will have become smarter by the year 100,000. Okay? Now, how do you make a question from this? Will people have become? Yeah. Will people have become? It looks really strange, right? It, it looks quite strange, this question, but it's actually pretty correct. By the year uh, to 100,000. So, here is the form. Okay? And, and I would say, yes, they will. Right? Again, it's the same as here. Uh, yes, I will. So it's the same uh, as in the future, future continuous. However, the meaning is very different. Let's have a look at the way to do it. 
when we talk about the the timeline again we are here right now all right we are here now and we are talking about the future obviously the future here is again year 100,000 let me just copy this one and the idea is that there will be a thing that will happen before year 100,000. 100, in this case that we have in our context, they say as a result, so basically people will be living in other parts of the solar system, maybe on Mars. So this will be a fact. Uh, year 100,000, people have colonies and cities on Mars. Okay? They are in the process of living there. And this is the reason why, even before that, even before they live there, their eyelids will have become thicker. Thicker, uh, can we translate thicker? Anybody knows? Plusčí. Plusčí, takže jejich výčka se stanou tlustší v důsledku toho, že budou žít na Marzu, ale ani jedno z toho se ještě nestalo. Že? Já říkám, oni budou žít na Marzu, ale v důsledku toho se jejich výčka stanou uh, ještě předtím, s, s tím, jak tam žijou, v tom procesu, tak díky tomu, že to je stále v budoucnosti, ale je to stále před tím dějem, který je tady v tom will be living. Ani jedno z toho se ještě nestalo. To je ten problém, OK? But I'm talking about this, that uh, there will be a process that will have happened before another thing will happen. Ah, I hope this is OK now. Let's see. So let me show you on the timeline. Uh, we had the blue, right? So. We have uh, this, uh, as I showed you here, uh, let me change the color to green and I'll write people will have become smarter, for example. And let me make it smaller, uh, for example, 28. People will have become smarter. But now the question is when, right? It can happen here, it can happen here, it can happen here. What we know for sure is that it will happen by the year 100,000 and it's not happening now. Okay, so we need to have some kind of uh, time, uh, basically some time uh, information like year 1000 and we are saying that by the year, by, that's very important preposition, by the year 100,000 something will have happened. To znamená, do toho roku, to nám hodně pomůže to buy, do toho roku, uh, 100 tisíc, se už něco stane. Je to ten předbudoucí čas. Já říkám, že v té době už se něco stane, ale ještě se to nestalo. OK, I hope, look, this is a very different kind of logic, right? We don't use this kind of logic in the Czech language. So let's summarize. Um, we have future continuous where I will describe the process that is happening in a certain time. So, for example, year 100,000, people will be in the process of living somewhere. V tu danou chvíli budou něco dělat, OK? A co, co dělají? Žijou na Marzu třeba, OK? Nemluvím to jako jednorazový fakt, že prostě ano, lidé tam žijou, ale říkám, lidé tam žijí právě teď. A právě teď je ten rok 100 tisíc, OK? Což bude v té budoucnosti. Tak, a teď mám future perfect simple a říkám, co v tom roce 100 tisíc, co ještě předtím do té doby nastane, ale ještě zatím to nenastalo. Co se stane je, že v nějakém rozmezí, třeba v roce 60 tisíc, možná 70, 80, nastane to, že lidem stlousnou výčka. OK? So, look, you can use future perfect without any other tense. Dá se to použít úplně mimo uh, jakýkoliv kontext. Tady ten kontext je jasný, že Já říkám, oni budou žít na Marzu a v důsledku toho jim ještě předtím vlastně stloustla ta víčka, protože dneska žijí na Marzu. OK? And uh, obviously you can use it without anything. If you talk about the future and you use by, když řeknu jako do nějakého roku se něco stane. Třeba když řeknu by uh, 2030, yeah? people will have will have, uh, I don't know, become uh, richer, for example, okay? Lidé do tohoto, ale teďkom nejsou, třeba řeknu, teď nejsou, they are not rich now, but by 2030, people will have become richer. That's the idea. By that year, they will be rich, all right? 
That means 2030, they will be rich. But by the year 2030, they will have become rich. Now, I hope that um, I explained it well enough. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, these uh, things in, in here. So you see the form here. I will leave this document on Google Classroom afterwards. All right. I hope this will be easy enough to understand. Let's try it in, in re practice, in real life. Uh, you will see that in your book, you have this little box over here where you need to put the theory. Let's try it. Huh? Let's try this for fun. Let's see how it goes. So uh, complete the examples and rules. How many more examples of each tense uh, can you find in the article? We will look at the article then, yeah? But first, we form the future perfect with will, have, and past participle. By the weekend, takže do weekendu, zatím je v nemocnici, ale po weekendu už bude propuštěný z nemocnice, nebo už odejde z nemocnice. Can anybody here, for example, Ota, can you complete the sentence? On už opustí nemocnici, chceme říct. Uh, he, he will left he will, ha he will have. Ah, uh, yeah, he will have. Uh, left we have. So he will have left. You know, so he, he will have left. Yes. So that means, will he be uh, in the hospital during the weekend? No. No. So that means... When will he uh, leave the hospital? Do we know when exactly? No. We don't know, right? But it, it can be Friday, it can be Thursday, Wednesday. Okay? Depends on the, on the day, right? Maybe if, if we talk about Monday, we are in, let's say it's Monday now, and we talk about it, then it can be Tuesday, it can be Wednesday, it can be Thursday, Friday. But it's definitely not Saturday and Sunday. We form the future continuous with will be and ing. Takže this time next month, o tomhle čase příští měsíc, já budu v nějakém procesu, nebo on bude v nějakém procesu, bude v procesu hrání fotbalu, protože byl v nemocnici, že jo? So, easy. how can you complete this sentence? Potřebujeme budoucí průběhový čas. Easy. He will be. Yeah, he will be playing football, right? And that's it. And we used uh, here, we use the future to talk about the completed action in the future. Rosalie, can you complete? Používám teda future uh, continuous anebo future perfect. Už o nějaké skončené akci v budoucnosti. Oh, perfect. Perfect, there we go. Takže před budoucí, před budoucí čas. And we use the future. Uh, Lukáš, how do you complete uh, D? E? Future. Well. Com I don't, I see D only. Yeah, yeah, D, D. How do you complete D? Uh, number, number four. Continuous. Continuous, yeah. Takže před, uh, teda budoucí průběhový. Continuous. So there are some predictions about the future. Popřemýšlejte, jestli uh, říkají teda, co v té době už nastane, anebo co v té době bude probíhat. Okay, that's the idea. And uh, here, then uh, discuss if you agree or not. Takže cvičení 6 a 7. V šestce udělejte správně ty uh, predikce. Popřemýšlejte, jestli to je teda proces, anebo jestli to už je jednorázová akce, která skončila. A v sedmičce potom na to dejte svůj názor. OK? So, good luck to you. I will see you in the rooms. Hello. All right, welcome back. Now, uh, Ota, let me ask you the first question. Do you think that scientists will have found a cure for most diseases by the end of century? I don't think so, because uh, to the end of the century will, will, will be a new and new diseases, so they, they will not, they will haven't been able to uh, found a cure for the most diseases. Mm -hmm. And can you read this word again? Century. Century. Sure. Century. Century. Yes. Correct. Okay. Thank you very much, Ota. Good job. Most people. And now, uh, how do you create the uh, the prediction for number two, Rosalie? Can you give us a prediction for number two? Okay. Um, I don't think that most people will have lived to will have lived to two thousand. Yes. To 200, yeah? 
uh, by the year, I don't know, let's say 21, yeah, 2100. Uh, excellent. So that means people will, will always live to maybe 100 years, something like that? Rosalie, what do you think? Uh, without the lift? No, ED. Uh, it's, cor it's correct, this one, yeah? So oh, that means uh -huh. uh, only that, um, or sorry, you see, you, I use not, right? You use not, sorry, sorry. Will not have lift. So that means, uh, that would mean that the people today would see this year, right? But they will not, right? Most people will probably not. So that's what we want to say. They will not have lift to 200 uh, by the year 2100. That would be most people would probably not uh, survive this. I can also use, uh, grammatically speaking, I can use this one, right? Will not be living to 200. Yeah? This here would be the process. That means uh, lidé by se nedožívali, will not be living. Lidé se nebudou dožívat 200 let, anebo když řeknu, lidé se nedožijí 200 let do roku 2100. Okay? You see that there's a little difference in Czech uh, in these. Let's try number three. Uh, maybe Milan, can you try number three? Nové nemocí se objeví do té doby. Několik se objeví. I think, I think new uh, decisions will will appear. Be, will be will appear. Be what? Do I say will be appearing or will have appeared? Milan, what do you will, will have. Will have appeared, correct? Takže do té doby se objeví hodně nových nemocí. Right, that's the idea. If I say will be appearing, can you translate it for me, Milan? Because grammatically it's correct, right? Will be appearing, if I say. Hodně z těch nových nemocí se bude objevovat v té době. Okay, so look, both are okay, but it changes the meaning. The first one, will have appeared, do té doby se objeví hodně nemocí. Just like we, uh, I showed you here, objeví se jedna, there's one, there's two, there's three. Okay? We'll be appearing, we are in this year, and then there will be one disease, two diseases, three, four, five, there will be many. Okay? So again, this changes the meaning, even though the sentence is correct. It, the sentence is correct in both ways. It just changes the meaning. You need to be careful. Let's try the next. A human... Uh, for this one, let's try uh, Yuzi. Can you try number f number four? Uh, I don't think a human will be running 100 meters uh, in five seconds. Yeah, yeah, correct. So that means nobody will be able to do this. What if I say... Uh, I don't believe that a human will have run 100 meters in five seconds by the year 2100. Because the first one that you said is here, let me write it uh, here. I don't believe, I don't believe that a human will have run 100 meters by 2100. And in five seconds, right? There was this information. And then I have the same sentence, but I will say like this, will be running. Now I have the question uh, maybe for Lukash. Lukash, can you please explain the difference between these two sentences? Uh, because, um, um, will have run means like uh, they, they are going to do it and will be running uh, means like um, mm -hmm. yeah. Let, let's see the timeline again right we'll have run one two three right before before uh -huh. and then we'll be running in the process would have done processu behind yeah nebo ne, ne, nebudou ubíhat uh, 100 metrů za 5 sekund v té době. Okay? So that means nobody will be able to do this. Uh -huh. okay. Okay? Nobody can do that yeah? by this year. But if I say they will have run or people will have run, 
To znamená, do té doby se už to stane. Takže řeknu, do té doby, do toho roku, já nevím, 100 tisíc, 3 tisíce, do té doby už někdo uběhne 100 metrů za 5 sekund. So you are saying the opposite, right? Ta věta není ani v negativu. The, the sentence is just, you know, the same. But you see how one little change in time can change everything. To znamená, do té doby, ne, nevěřím, že lidé do té doby uběhnou, uběhnou do tohoto roku, že někdo uběhne 100 metrů za 5 sekund. Zatímco jich řeknu, nevěřím, že lidé budou běhat, budou běhat, OK? So you see there is a dip, big difference here in Czech and in English too. And uh, this simply means that before this year or by this year, uh, people will have runnings. Takže oni to někdo už zaběhne, ale tady to nikdo nezaběhnu v té druhé větě, OK? Ani to nebudou zabíhat ani v tom roce. So, I hope that this will help you with uh, your homework uh, and um, good luck with this. If there are any problems, we will come back to it in the next lesson. So, thank you.